yes. Yes, 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 we are here. We are here. We are so pleased to be here with you, our friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Yes, we are so happy to join you on this evening. Hmm. We're still assimilating. Hmm. Expanding our energy. Hmm. Yes, the young one is with us tonight, but hmm, yes, we're pushing her back a little bit so her energy does not interfere, but rather vitalize. Hmm. It is good for us to utilize our spark to keep us grounded tonight. For you understand there are times when her energy staked into earth allows us to be here with fullness. Hmm. And now we feel full. We are beginning to feel radiant. We invite you in your home to also join in with a feeling of energetic fullness and radiance, for this is a delightful experience. Hmm. Hmm. Just invite us to be with you. You will still be with conscious awareness yourself. We do not, of course, take over everyone. You are not trained for this, but we can flow our frequency through you to help vitalize your being. So we invite you to continue receiving and flowing while you listen to our words. It may help increase the effect of this discussion we will host for you. Our young spark visited with us because there are many who are Hmm. Distressed with your God, distressed with God at this time, why would God do this to us? There is much fear and anxiety at this moment of what will happen to you on an individual level, on your national level, on your global level. This uh, is understandable. These are trying times. However, we thought if we give you a higher perspective of things, it may release the anxiety connected with the minutia. It is, of course, frustrating when your entire existence is out of your control and those who are managing your well-being are... Um, you know, do not care so much. So it is a disrespect to you as an individual and as a superior soul. So <clears throat> we wish to speak with you tonight about a higher perspective on this. Hmm. And show you how much more effective you are than you realize. Hmm. You have seen in your lifetimes when a person is being bullied, belittled, and the only thing that would stop the bully is for the person who is demeaned to stand up for themselves. But the bullying continues for this person will not stand up for themselves. They accept the reality 
that they are to be demeaned and humiliated. So therefore they live in that reality. At this moment from our perspective, you are being bullied by those who have claimed they're in charge, but there are things you can do to say, I do not accept this reality. I will stand up for myself and those that I love. Hmm. Of course, you don't think of yourself necessarily as the same situation for these people who are bullying you do not even know who you are. However, they do not know what you are capable of. It is their goal to keep you repressed so you forget how magnificent you are. Instead of the situation where you are being bullied, think you are kept in a dark room, deprived of light. The person who is depriving you thinks they're clever, locking you in this dark room. They do not realize you know how to turn on the light, you know how to open the door and walk out of the room. They tell you you must stay there because they bully you. However, you are only in there if you accept it. The moment you claim a freedom for yourself, they lose their power. And how do you, as eternal souls of divine spirit, reclaim your power? You acknowledge that reality is greater than the one they have given you and that you are capable of creating the reality you desire. We asked our spark to show you the grids for certainly in a grid, if you light up one chakra, then there's a little light. It takes enough light to spark the entire grid for it to be truly effective. So do not think, oh, now it's on my shoulders to heal the world. Do not worry. We have learned that lesson. That doesn't work too well. Do not think, but I am so tired, or how do I like? There's no concern. All you need to do is light yourself up and other lights will find you. We will get to that in a moment. Hmm. So you think, do I have the power, the energy to light up? Of course, you're in the darkness thinking you need to light the darkness. We wish to give you a higher perspective so you can raise your attention to greater power and join with sending light down to the dark spots. When you are consumed in the darkness, you think it is all encompassing. You do not think that all you need to do is rise up and look and you see all the light with little spots of dark. So here is a little lesson we have for you. We have discussed in the past our origin and the origin of all life. Before our time, before we were created, before your source was created, before the angels, the frequencies, the dimensions, before all of this, there was existence, an existence that was at a higher frequency, a frequency so pure that love seems coarse by comparison. This existence wished to evolve and fill in more, so we were all created. 
then we wish to evolve and fill in more and you were all created. We have a suspicion that those who created us and your gods and your angels are those that we turn to for our inspiration. It is our suspicion they are not the original, that there was ones more pure even than that reality, that sphere of being that created them. Hmm. And when the time comes that you, humans, and all of your dimensions and your frequencies and the third dimension reality and all the multitudes, when all of us have completed our karmic lessons and we evolve, then we will create another plane of being so that we may explore more but then you will be a part of the creator, not a part of the created. We hope this makes sense to you. So you see on your planet and your upcoming election and your concerns at the moment are one dark spot that must become lighter it must become lighter because in the end, everything will become lighter. It is inevitable that the moment will exist when every being in every dimension and every frequency has evolved to a state of highest love, then this total experiment will be complete. If we have created confusion, we apologize. We hope we are bringing enlightenment. So we bring it from this perspective. Long ago, there was only a very high frequency of being. And then there was love, only love. And then a duality of being, those you call source and Gaia, connected through love. And all reality, all dimensions, all frequencies, were created at once, but we were very light and we had only love. Love was the only parameter. There was nothing beyond love. Source knows only love. Gaia expanded love, little joy, little laughter, variations. Gaia craved more. Gaia created more dimensions, including your three dimension universe and several universes before this one to expand more emotions. She encouraged all beings to play with all emotions. So instead of love, we had a spectrum far greater than even you humans can comprehend, for you are clouded here in the third dimension. Hmm. But you have a good connection with many of them. Meanwhile, Source cares only for love. Source is not so in inquisitive as his beautiful bride, Source creates all through love. Source brings love into this dimension, for with all the free will, there is often a clutter. It becomes imbalanced with too much non-love, so always Source must bring in 
fresh love. Source does one thing, create through love. That is it. Gaia loves an adventurer and she does everything else. Yet the two are harmonious and in accord. As the dimensions shift and various realities occur, all beings are encouraged to explore and create. You have many beings that you would call gods, but we would call siblings who are in many dimensions creating extraordinary realities. The angels revel in becoming demons. This is exciting for them. They have been angels for time untold. Now they can become horrifying. And when they are done, they return to angelic and they bring a wealth of knowledge and understanding with them that expands the abilities of the angelic empire. The water molecules, the flames, the elements, the animal souls, the many dimensions and frequencies. You know, the majority of races of beings are not solid as you are. You are an anomaly. So they enjoy coming here and posing as humans to learn. There's so much, imagine if you are never ever fleshy, to be able to play in this wonderful planet. There's so much happening that we tell you very little of it is actually concerned with the well-being of your planet because everyone has their own agenda. This universe is a playground for everyone who wishes to explore everything beyond just love. Then they return to love with the fulsomeness of their experiences. Hmm. But you are not forgotten or disrespected, of course. The beings on your planet are greatly valued and loved and appreciated. And the human soul collective were the group that was brave enough to take on this challenge of growing humanity through the ages. Hmm. You are revered among the collectives, for there are many who have not the, hmm, the capability to live so many lives back to back in solid form. You have skills that are admired. While you are in human form, you forget all of your connections and your friendships and your experiences outside of this earthly realm. There are some of you here who have actually not incarnated any serious personal lives for quite some time because you are so evolved that you are more busy outside of three dimensional and yet at this moment you don't even realize that because you disconnect yourself. So what we would like to speak with you about is while you honor the life you planned for yourself, do not disconnect from the reality that is around us just because you are so focused on the dream 
that you are in the midst of experiencing. We invite you to be reminded that you are creators, you are craftsmen, you designed your life, you designed your planet, and now you have the ability to design better. If you wish for your planet to be healthier, you must dream of a healthier planet and let that energy flow into you and through you and out. Your energy will connect with others who are dreaming of a healthy planet and thus a grid becomes created. Of course, you must take action as well, but, and you must live your beliefs. You must put power behind this, but you have within you the ability to manifest your best planet. You do not need anyone to tell you what your reality is. You may create your reality. And if you are unsure what to do, take any grid or network, meditate upon it. It can be a photograph of your planet from space or an image of a tree in full bloom. It may be a mandala. It may be the stars in the sky. These are all equal grids and networks. If you wonder how can you do this, remember you were created by source. So you were once a being of pure love. Everyone was originally created by source. Everyone was once a being of pure love. You may go back to your core of pure love and send that energy through your network to everyone or to a group or to whoever is receptive and in their spark, in their being, their core of their soul is always still alive with pure love, with their connection with God. You can bring God's energy through you and out. Hmm. Are we coherent with this? Have we any questions at this time? have a question yes um the way you have created uh the the creator has created you and the the source had created us and on and on um is it possible for the human soul to become a teacher like you oh, as, absolutely as we evolve Without question, without question, it is our hope that many of you will become teachers even in this life and creators even in this life. You do not need to wait until you are complete with your maturation and return to love. You may claim this for yourself at any time, for you began with this. So it is just reaching into your core of your being saying who was i who am i i was born of love from the two that are most wise we encourage you to heal to teach to create 
it is great fun as well. The more you teach, the more you become receptive toward learning very extraordinary lessons, and you also begin to realize whom you are most easily connected with, what sort of energies, what grids, what networks are the most comfortable for you. For none of you are exactly the same. You are not the same as you were in your other lives. You are not the same as you are to each other. Each of you has your unique energy field. What is magnificent about this is when you become comfortable and aligned with your power, and you stand beside others who are comfortable and aligned with their power, you are all in awe of each other for you are all unique with individual skills that support each other's work. I have a question, <clears throat> excuse me. Are you also giving these kinds of lessons to other places on in other worlds? Hmm. What a wonderful question. We are the librarians for Earth mm. and for the students in the library. However, the other librarians are the teachers for the other places. However, no one is banned. And of course, we librarians are a collective. So we are all connected to each other. Even if we are here, we are also connected with those who are there. Have you any questions about places other than here? Yes, of course I do. Um, I just, it's beyond my ability to even formulate a question, but I'd love to know, um, a pearl of wisdom from some other place? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. We are sending this question far and wide. And what we are receiving back is interesting from many of the librarians, they are saying, have faith in your power. Have faith in yourself. That the only thing that stops you is embarrassment. Feel comfortable falling on your face and laughing. For the greatest achievements are not, are not affected by those who set their goal, this is what must happen and I will do it. It is by those who open with pure heart and say, how may I be an instrument with your help to create a beautiful, healthy situation? Thank you very much. Hmm. There are many wonderful planets in your universe. I have a question and linked to the prior question. So you said that 
the librarians have access to other librarians of different places. Does that mean we can access those places with our librarian? Oh, absolutely. Hmm. First, you must become your frequency in alignment, cohesive with the place you wish to visit their library. Many humans see each library as a separate library, a separate campus, but really it is different frequencies, no more, no less. If you wish to enter a library, you must become one with the energy of those beings and their library. The easiest way to do this is to talk with your librarian and your angel as to which would be a good library for you to visit. The first one you visit should be one that is easily connected to portals to Earth, the fairy library the animals library. You may wish to visit the library of the elephant collective or the kitty cats, which includes the lions, so beware. Hmm. Or you may wish to visit the library of the uh, Sasquatch or the angels or, hmm, um, hmm. You may visit the Library of Universal Creation. That is always an interesting one. The one that explains the entire history of your universe and future and past. It's very exciting. If you do not know how to become in resonance with that particular library or the group that has the library, then you work with your librarian and your angel, become resonant with your library, visit your library so many times you are comfortable there, then ask for books to be loaned to you or from the other library so that you may begin harmonizing. Hmm. Okay, and then um, follow on question. So you were talking about frequencies. Do frequency and color, do they coexist? Or does let's say the color purple have a different frequency than say 450 megahertz? Does, does that make sense? Yes, they are separate frequencies. They are separate dimensions on their own. What you call 450 megahertz is an entire dimension, a simple dimension. But keep in mind, when we helped with the creation of your planet, emissaries from all dimensions came and seeded your planets. So in your planet, you and the eight other planets have the portals, the doorways to everywhere and every race of being already seeded in your planet. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. And of course, you may ask in your library about the eight other planets, seven of which have reached their evolutionary state so that they may be connected, only yours and one other remain when the nine planets all evolve to become cohesive within your races of your planet then the nine planets will connect and travel to all places and dimensions and times will be available for 
everyone. We are very excited. So rather than live in fear of what will happen in the next few months, live in joy of the time when your planet is fully healed and one with the other eight so that all beings may coexist on your planet and you can see and touch and connect with all beings of all frequencies everyone will have we more questions yes um we a couple of weeks ago we were talking about the ancient was it mandalas mm -hmm. coming back and they have their own frequency and yet they have colors so mm -hmm. do they combine all the colors of do they combine all the frequencies of the colors to create the frequency of the mandala mm. well of course each mandala has its own unique frequency it's resonance some have colors some have sounds you know each mandala is unique but certainly every color every frequency every sound that you know every energy finds its way to whichever mandala is most resonant for it the purpose of the mandala is to extend energy just as if you have a city you need the electrical lines to go to every house and within every house and the street lights mandalas are comparable in that they send energy around the planet connecting those that are relevant for each specific mandala for you what mandalas that are resonant for you are the ones that you feel good and bonded when you are connected with them and the ones that are not for you often you will not even be aware that they're available or you may feel a need to step away from them for they're uncomfortable there are many you may connect with that are pleasant for the moment but when you connect with the mandala that is the right fit for you you feel it a coming home a resonance of everything is natural and you feel more empowered your awareness opens up and you have certain recognitions available your senses become more alive and hmm, just heightened it takes many mandalas and grids to power a planet you have the mandalas of plants you have the mandalas of specific animals you have the mandalas of geographic areas you have the mandalas of psychological or emotional or theological beliefs you have the mandalas of emotions you have healing mandalas music mandalas the ocean currents and the breezes mandalas there's so many mandalas and of course you have your mandalas of illness and hatred bigotry whichever mandalas are the more powerful are the ones that rule the earth this is why it is so important you do not fall prey to the mandalas of bigotry and hatred then they consume your energy instead you say you are the bully mandala i join the mandala of love or the mandala of healing or whichever mandala singing makes you feel empowered you send that energy then these grids 
become more powerful and the grids of ire become deplete. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. Very, very much. Wonderful.